Hi everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about two items mainly. Um, this particular lamp and um, also have a general talk about getting older. Yeah, I'm getting older so I thought I'd have a quick mention about that. But anyway, at the moment I'll show you this lamp. Now these, as far as I know and a dear friend of mine knows was only made by Philips. It's a UV lamp, um, fairly old. I remember these when I was a little bit younger than I am now. It was only 20 years ago, it might have even been more, but aquarium shops were selling water sterilizers, uh, devices you'd put in line with a filter for an aquarium which incorporated one of these lamps and I saw it as perhaps a youngster then because it was a long time ago and thought blimey that's an unusual lamp in there but how do I get it out because what they had done they had encapsulated it in a water jacket the encapsulation was obviously glass but the lamp itself was sealed in black pitch which is a kind of tar black and um, I wanted the bulb didn't want the blooming filter I wanted the bulb I could see a light because while it was working it, it was showing its beautiful glows so eventually I did take it out of the envelope scratch the cap a bit not this lamp actually did, cap, uh, did scratch the cap a bit the wires were soldered direct on to the base and I got it out. Well that was years ago. To this day I don't know what happened to it. It's one of those things where it vanished. Anyhow, recently, and this brings me to my, others, my other little, uh, not a problem, but something I think all of us must look at, me in particular, I'm not what you'd call a spring chicken. Um, bloody ancient. Anyhow, I will say, I had a chance a few years ago of buying a large collection of lamps. I've mentioned it numerous times on Lighting Gallery, on YouTube, and I did very, very well. The collection was sold to me, pure chance. I went to um, um, an exhibition up in near Rugby and Birmingham. Uh, so I never think of the name. An amateur radio do is very good, and I can say I can, re can recommend it to anyone. Go up there; they've always got excellent stuff. They've got old radio sets. Uh, telephones, lamps, components, and it's a damn good day out. Anyhow, I went up there and I met a gentleman, he said, are you after buying a lamp collection? So I said, I was taken aback, I said, um, uh, well, yeah, how much? So he gave me a price which I thought was very reasonable. He, I don't know his age, but he was a little bit older than me, and I bought his collection. Well, amongst the numerous bulbs, and I can show you those, all those came from him, they're figurals. A lot of these figurals actually feature in Killer Cats, um, which is another uh, forum. Then here, yeah, I digress. Um, we'll get back to the bowl. And in Monks's collection, he had this lamp. You can call it a lamp. It is a lamp. It's a generator of UV. So obviously, only view it through glass or special uh, goggles. A friend of mine's got special goggles. Anyhow, that is the actual lamp. It's a TUV. 6W, I think that's the number. 
it would be corrected if I would say it wrong because as you know I'm, my memory is not too good it's TUV6W by Phillips the etch is on the side there but you probably won't see it you may there's the etch and it's obviously neon filled and the glow there must be a bit of a bit of mercury in in there as well and it glows with a lovely blue but as I say only look at it through glass I'll show you it on but before I do I want a little talk about things I've been thinking about or mulling over in my mind for, for several years now I've at last got the answer uh, as I say a lot of you know I've been collecting for a long long time and before anyone gets the idea I don't intend to kick the bucket just yet I'm going to make a hundred I might even make more than a hundred but anyhow I as you know go to a load of boot sales and I often wonder at the stuff that is there and when it's specialist stuff like a collection of lamps radio valves tubes um, unusual electrical bits where the people obviously don't know what they are these things are just collected up taken to a boot cell and sold well I didn't want to do that um, I dread to see my stuff being carted away to a boot cell or even worse into a local tip so I thought well what am I going to do about them and I think anyone else that is in probably not in my boat yet because I think I'm probably the oldest member I don't think I'm the oldest but I'm one of the older ones I was thinking well I don't want I don't want my stuff to be dumped so I have made arrangements and um, I'm not mentioning any names it wouldn't be fair but I've got two main people one for the plants I've got quite a few plants greenhouses and that and this person is will hopefully take the plants and the greenhouses and I'm left with the lamps and other antiques barometers you name it I've got it got stuff I've collected over the years so now arranged that these two people who will be nameless um, will hopefully take on these things um, so hopefully that will happen I'm obviously not telling you who they are you may guess who one of them is because he's obviously on lighting gallery um, and on yeah YouTube as well but a lot of you are on YouTube a lot of you are on lighting gallery so you're not going to know but anyhow he will be taking over the collection and possibly stuff will be handed over throughout the coming years hopefully because I've got quite a lot of stuff and um, the only way to do this is not put it over in one go when I kick the bucket is to have an idea that he can take stuff and I said to him talk about it you can mention where they came from um, I'm glad if you do but still remind people they were from the Maget collection I want my name to live on if I don't live on anyhow that's all I'm saying at this stage um, and I would certainly advise anyone who is of older years perhaps not as old as I am but um, you know it's something worth thinking about and uh, anyhow I put that idea in your head now if we go back to the bulb I will show you a light what have I done with there it is it's on 220 volts It's on 220 volts. Now, you know what I'm doing. Glass.
that goes over the lamp to prevent getting UV light on the skin or the eyes which won't do it either any good. I'm going to change over to my Variac. don't need the Variac but as it's handy. But the change plugs over. And we gently wind the Variac up. And as you can see, you can slowly bring up. This is the, uh, the UV light being produced between the two electrodes. As you turn it up a bit higher, it's mains voltage so there's no problem. I don't know how it shows up on the thing but that is the actual la lamp itself at I would say yep yeah, full voltage now. Full voltage tends to make it flash a bit so to demonstrate it I would keep it on a lower voltage. It's actually marked up at 220 volts so it was probably made for the continent. So there's the lamp working perfectly. I understand these are quite rare. I didn't realise that. Um, they also make one with an envelope of Wood's glass. Now Wood's glass is a black glass and the light produced by that I imagine will be very very dim. Now, I haven't got a Wood's glass one but I understand they did make them. And I was just talking to my friend on the phone that um, yeah they did make a black one also I had a conversation with another member last night who actually mentioned this and I thought well that's strange I didn't know that so that's black glass the woods glass is the black glass and uh, I might sometimes show you another lamp upstairs which is a woods glass lamp self ballasted and uh, which uses the same glass anyhow once again thanks for watching um, take my, my um, words of hopefully words of wisdom to heart um, I think it's very very valuable and I'm happier knowing that over the next huh, I hope to make a hundred but you never know I don't want to drop dead tomorrow I'm a, a bit gloomy but you have to talk about these things and as I say Two of my very good friends will hopefully be taking the stuff. We're not hoping he will be taking the stuff. The fish, uh, not the fish, the um, plants, greenhouses, etc., will go to one, and the lamps will go to another a very dear friend who I'm not mentioning any names at this stage at all. And that's between him and me. So that's how it goes. Anyhow, thanks again for watching. Might put another bulb up. Um, we'll see how it goes. I say this is um, Monday. Yes, yeah, Monday today. Now, why's that gone off? Oh, that's all right. The light went off. It's the light up there. This is Monday. Tonight is New Year's. Day. Yeah, Eve, that's right. So, I wish all of you good people Happy New Year. And. Um, Yes, January, and I'm not cadging for cards or anything like that. My birthday's in next month, which, um, you know, I think we're, you know, it's um, sad I'm a year older. So I, I don't need cards or anything like that. It's just to remind that I was born in 44. So that gives you an idea of my age. And I'm happy that I've sorted out two of the major items that I've got which should really both go to very good homes and now I think they will and I can rest in peace fortunately not dead rest in peace anyhow I joke about this it's the only thing you can do so once again thanks for watching this any ideas always say um, so whatever comes up that is it. And that sounds like my phone has just gone again. So thanks again. Thanks for watching. Thank you.